Back with Dr. Kang from um, North Hollywood in California. Dr. Kang, tell me, missing teeth. I have a question here. Every dentist you ever go to more or less tells you missing teeth is really bad and all kind of problems will happen. Now, here's the other side. Many of us people, we have missing teeth for a long time. Uh, usually we have them in the back because in front, obviously, they look very ugly and, and we replace them usually rather fast. But let's take in the back, you know. And uh, so many people have a missing tooth for a long time, years. And it does not look like a lots of bad things have happened. So why is it that you dentists say missing teeth is such a bad thing? Can you shade some light on that? Can you kind of clear up this, um, to me, controversy? Okay, teeth, the function of the teeth, there are a few functions. Number one, the function of the teeth is the chewing food. And number two is for the speech. Without the teeth, it's hard to speak. And the number three is aesthetics. Without the teeth, no, we cannot smile that much. <laughs> and the missing teeth can cause all those problems. Without the teeth, it's hard to eat the food. And uh, you cannot chew properly then you can have a health problem. Number two, without the tooth, very difficult to talk. The sound, make a sound, we need the teeth. So we have to replace the missing teeth. And the last, the aesthetics, if you think about that, the tooth is missing on the front, how can you smile that? And if you go to the beauty pageant, those ladies, they have such a nice clean teeth. So these days, the people, they are really upset about the the, the beauty, so they do all kind of bleaching or laminate or braces. So they really thinking about the, their beauty in these days. So cosmetic dentistry is very popular these days. Right, but uh, Dr. Kang, uh, you have a yes. missing tooth in the back, uh, he, he, nobody sees it. So the smile isn't affected for that. Um, I can see the chewing part, but then you have people like me, I eat a steak in three minutes. You know, my wife eats one salad plat in, 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 you know, when I eat a whole steak. Um, and, uh, so it wouldn't do me much good anyway, I guess. But the point is, it, it let's just go to the, to the beauty. You know, you, you don't see it in the back. So why fix it? Why spend a few thousand dollars fixing something nobody sees? Okay, even nobody can not see the back teeth, but without the back teeth, you can think about the, all the muscle functions, about the joint problem, you can make the really serious problem. Because of the chewing function, it causes all the joint problem, and the has to be, must be replaced. Even oh. you can chew, you can chew without the back teeth, but the function is very low, the chewing function can go very low. So it can cause a problem later on. So even oh, the fact is, you cannot see it has to be replaced. So what you're saying is, and that, that, I, that, that, that I understand, I come from the engineering um, uh, background, if you have, let's say, cogwheels out of alignment or missing, is sometimes the machine still runs uh, a little bit. But what you're saying is you're using all your joints different, you strain it, and then... Next thing you know is that's when you get what what maybe you call a DMJ problem, meaning your your teeth are out of a line, the bite is out, and all of a sudden you get major headaches, you get neck pain, shoulder pain, uh, maybe even back pain, uh, which uh, which you have mentioned and other doctors have mentioned, and that of course I can see that is a problem. Um, yes, is that right. what you're is that what you're referring to? That's right. Yeah, same like the car, if your car is not properly aligned, at the beginning you don't feel that much, but later it can cause a major problem to the car. Same right. thing. Right, Our right, mouth right. Is a, it's like a yeah, machine, yes. so it's not properly aligned, it can cause a major problem later. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and I mean, I guess, um, and, and that's what I meant, you know, and you said it before that um, different uh, the teeth problem, you know, people have a headache very often don't necessarily think that maybe their teeth are out of alignment, which could be because of missing teeth, they could have had an accident once, maybe their teeth were growing badly in the beginning, something wrong, but it's if, if if what you're saying is if the thing in there isn't perfectly aligned, like a Swiss watch, then 
all kinds of problems start. And of course, if a person has everyday headache, needs to take aspirin and Tylenol, uh, he'll be less effective at work. He'll be crouchy at home with the kids and the wife, and uh, and uh, life will not be good. Is that that's what you're saying? That's right. Yes. Got it. Got it. Well, again, thank you very much for your candidness. Um, this is very, um, um, you know, very, very important to know. So now I have an idea. And uh, it obviously doesn't come right away. And I guess with some people it comes maybe faster, with some comes slower, but eventually it will kind of come. It's like if you, if you, if you drive uh, over the speed limit, you don't necessarily get caught all the time, but eventually you'll get caught and get more tickets than the person who never, <laughs> so to speak. Right. It's a little bit like that, right? Yes. And why, and that's, that's where right. the, pre- and that's where the prevention part comes in. Why ever, why go to a headache, shoulder pain, neck pain, uh, not being able to sleep because of it, if you don't have to? Yes. So always think about the prevention. Wonderful. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dr. Khan. Thank you very much.